Ferrer being so slim, how, how tough is that on your team each night as they try to find a way out of this? Yeah, yeah. Tonight was a little bit different for me. Um, that's game number seven in 11 days, two back-to-backs. So tonight I saw a team that is a little bit fatigued. Obviously, the errors, we can't afford it. It's like even the... Like I, I thought our third period was, as far as um, respecting our routes and, and pushing the pace was our third period. One turnover, one. Puck is in the back of your net. Pull the goalie, rims the puck around the board, ends up in the... So that, this, this is where we are now. Adversity is a beautiful challenge, and we face some. We're going to be in the trenches. We're in the trenches with our guys. We're in this together. Um, but I, I thought tonight, even if the game was closed, that it wasn't the same team that I've seen recently. I think there's a physical fatigue right now, playing seven games and two back-to-backs in 11 days. So tomorrow, the day off, will be more than welcome to reset and go from there. And how important will a practice be after a day off like that just to kind of hit the reset button for your team? Yeah, it will be important. Um, but it's right now, it's, um, I've been around this game for a long time. And right now, it's just, like you said, the reset, but touching the puck, making plays, like running your routes as fast as possible. But there's, a, there's an element of the game where you, you need to feel good about yourself when you play that game, and we're going to try to hit that that sweet spot uh, next practice. Do you have any concern about Severson anything <coughs> long-term? Any, anything you can share with that? I haven't heard. Um, part of the reason we dress 7D, it's because we know we had a few guys banged up, and Severson was one of them. So um, I, I haven't heard from the medical staff yet. When you go through something like this, you mentioned physical fatigue, and that's that's kind of, you can see that, obviously, with like yeah. what you said with all yeah. the, the games in the short <laughs> amount of time, but is there also uh, like mental fatigue that you guys have to fight as well uh, when you go through just game after game with the same results? Like well, this? it's frustrating for everyone. I, I mean, I, I see those guys in the room. I hear those guys on the bench. They're saying the right things. The intentions are right. Um, still have a very young team and going through adversity like this is 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 not necessarily a bad thing um, hear me right it's not what we want it's not what but when we look at the big picture here over time how we're gonna deal with this I think we're creating um, a sense of we're in this together and eventually it's gonna pay off I'm convinced of that um, so we're a young team uh, the schedule was it's really heavy in November, playing against heavy teams. <coughs> so the physical side of it, of course, um, we, ha we have guys that are still developing their bodies. Um, but there's also the, the mental part. So it's our job, the coaches and the organization, to support our players. To, like I said, we're in this together. And uh, we're going to be in the tre trenches with them. You mentioned the fatigue earlier. The power play, <coughs> I think they didn't have any shots and goals. Is there any correlation between the two? They Try, fatigue and trying to battle and trying to generate chances. Well, no, I don't want to find uh, excuses for the power play. We need to figure it out. We need to sort it out. We need to find a way to uh, get it going. If there's one aspect that you know should give you a boost, especially when you're in a, a stretch like this, it's the power play. Is it related to fatigue? I, maybe it is, but that's not uh, that's not where I'm going to look at for that situation anyway. Do you feel like uh, with the the power play, it's more? Like smaller tweaks that you guys need to make that that would help, or is it like you're gonna have to scrap some stuff and, and try and that'd be hard, right? Like mid season to, to <clears> do well, that. Well, what do we have to lose, right? Um, so we'll be looking at everything. I don't know if it's minor tweaks or a big change, but we'll be looking at every solution possible. How tough is it to battle back like you had to in the second period? They get the goal and they get the shorthanded goal. And how, how tough is it to, to continue to have to battle back night after night? Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's tough. Uh, but nothing we can can do right now. So, you know, game is over. Gonna watch the clip and uh, see where we can be better and, uh, and move on and uh, think, just stay positive.
is it getting tougher every night? Oh, I think you know, it's you know, it's tough, obviously, but I think we have great mindset. You know, we're not gonna give up or we're not gonna stop uh, fighting. Uh, so you know, just keep going, and at some point, it's gonna we're gonna have that one. Do you think uh, you know getting a day off, coming back, getting a practice, just? How big will that be? Do you think to just kind of try and maybe hit a hit a reset button and, and and wipe this weekend away? Yeah, probably. I think you know, day off is always always good and just you know relax a bit. You know, uh, think about other stuff in hockey. Uh, probably good good stuff to do and uh, get back to work uh, next day. You're to accept, I would imagine, after a night like tonight. No, and uh, we have better, obviously. The, the streak we're on, we have to have a lot better effort if we want to get out of it. How tough was that second period, especially the shorthanded goal? Because, again, it puts you in a position where you had to, had to claw your way back into it. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to give those up. Power play hurts us. Um, that's on us. Um, we have chances. We can't give up a shorty, but we have chances to get back in it, too. And uh, we got to find a way to get it going, obviously. And, and you can see it, but it's hurting us. You, uh, you were going hard to the net tonight. I know you always do, but it seemed like you're just trying to stir up uh, an emotion. Anyway, you could get some more emotion in this game tonight. Yeah, I mean, we need that. Um, like I said, I think the, 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 the urgency and, um, you know, that the emotion um, needs to be ramped up if we want to get out of this funk. How disheartening is it, even on the empty netter? I mean, this is a guy who's just trying to whip the puck around the boards and get it out. It gets up on end and rolls right to the middle of an empty net. I mean, when you're in this kind of a streak, those are the kind of things that happen and they just continue to build and compound, don't they? Yeah, I mean, they, they get a bounce and it goes in. But um, it's the minutes before that we get to put in um, to give ourselves a chance. And um, I don't think it was good enough, um, you know, from the start. Clawed our way back in, but, um, you know, we got to ramp it up, obviously. And, you know, we need points. Boone, uh, I think on the four power plays that you guys didn't get a shot on goal. Um, from a player's perspective, guys been on the power play a long time. Where do you think, like, what's the biggest thing that you guys can do to just, you know, get some improvement there? You need. I'm not going to dissect it. I, it just has to be better um, throughout. Obviously, like you just said, that stat of no shots, um, it's not good enough. And, it's hurting us when we need it to get us going, get us some momentum. Um, it's not doing that. And, um, you know, we have some zone time, but we have to get some pucks to the net. Uh, it falls on us. And um, so we, we have to be a difference maker or get some sort of momentum going when we get a chance. Matty, as I said uh, in the intermission, you, you had your fingerprints all over it. How, how important was that for you to try to be a difference maker in this game tonight? Uh, well, <clears throat> if I'm if I'm going to be honest, I think our, our team's doing a lot of good things in this in this nine game stretch that we've been losing. But you know, I, there's maybe too much niceness to our team, a little less, a little too much hesitation. So <clears throat> we needed to to change something up, and uh, you know, we need we need uh, everyone to buy into that. And but you know, when it comes to that, it's my job to lead and and uh, show the way. But. You know, at some point we're we're gonna have to ramp that up because you know we're doing the rest and it's just not working. So we're gonna have to ramp up our our energy and our grit, our grittiness, and trying to find a way here to spark spark something. Just be a harder team to play against. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because uh, we we got the skill. We're right there. I mean, you look at the last eight nine games. A lot of them were overtime or for one goal games. So. You know, it could have gone either way. I think we've said that as a team, but you know, right now we're just not getting it done as a group. So we're we're gonna have to, you know, look ourselves in the eye and figure it out. And there seems to be no margin for error. How difficult is it to continually play under that scenario? Yeah, and uh, to add to that, there's some chances on our side that we're just not putting in. So uh, you know, add those, add both of those up, and you're on the losing side. So. There's no margin for ever, error. Uh, you know, we make one, and every team makes a spay, and that's that's the NHL for you. So, um, yeah, it's frustrating. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's tough to sit here and, and trying to find positives, but you know, tomorrow's another day. But 
we're, we're going to have to take a long look in the mirror here. You guys are going through something right now that probably none of you or very few of you have ever gone through. Um, I don't remember seeing something like this before. How do you keep it positive? I mean, that's what you're talking mm -hmm. about. How, how difficult is it going to be for you guys to stay positive going forward? Yeah. Well, I mean, you could turn it around and say if you're on a nine-game winning streak, you can't get too hyped. So, um, you know, we, we can't we can't get down on ourselves here. There's a lot of hockey left, and, uh, you know, one thing that we keep in mind is one year St. Louis was dead last in the league and we ended up winning it. So anything can happen. Um, we're not out of it yet. Obviously, it puts us in a tough spot, but there's there's a little bit of, you know, to being accountable to ourselves, but also moving on and, and focusing on the next game ahead. But like I said, we're just we're just going to have to, you know, really take a long look in the mirror here and, and change some some little things that, you know, as a young group, we're, we're going to learn. But we need to hammer it home here. You had the brush up with Hathaway. Is that something that you just wanted to kind of make a point that opponent shouldn't be going after your top players like that? Well, his hit on Rorensky was, uh, for lack of a better word, is is really really dirty. Um, we didn't like that. We're not going to forget that. Um, so, thought it was important to make a point there. Um, you know, he has Delorier doing his dirty work for him. That's on him. You had Delorier go. No, I don't. I don't know him. I don't know him personally. Um, obviously, a ton of respect. Um, you know, he's been doing this a long time. He's a guy that plays the same role that I play. So obviously, there's a there's a lot of respect there. There's two guys doing their job. Um, so, but no, I don't know him personally. He's from the Montreal area, and I'm from Quebec City. So um, more tiring fight you've been. It was a long one. Um, <laughs> it was a long one for sure. Um, but. Uh, I mean, I've been in a few in my career so far, so they're all they're all pretty tiring. But yeah, it was a long one. At the end of it, you guys kind of pat each other on the arm. I'm guessing that was about the mutual respect you have. How would you describe what happened? There? Yeah, it's a, it's a sign of respect. Um, you know, in in the past, he's he's asked me, and I've obliged. And this time, I asked him, and he obliged. So you know, like I said, there's just there's a lot of respect in in doing that role. And obviously, we're two guys. We're we're going to do at do it at our best. But uh, uh, yeah, I think it was just, uh, you know, like I said, sign of respect.